Hello, this is Kinga Sebastian from Kinga Sebastian Bitless Riding and uh, welcome to my course. Um, so this course um, is entitled um, From Zero to Hero in the Very Basics of Natural Horsemanship and uh, the content of the, of the course is um, made up of um, 10 exercises um, 10 basic exercises of groundwork yeah uh, and all of these exercises are very important um, for your horse's foundation okay so whatever you want for whatever you want to use your horse um, doesn't really matter the most important thing is for you to have to have your horse's foundation yeah uh, very solid and then uh, everything gets easier from there so you can use your horse um, in a in a in a much uh, easier way after that yeah because because what these exercises do is they are gonna um, they are gonna make your communication with your horse uh, much more easier much more simpler and um, and you and your horse um, will get along much better and you know everyone gets to to be happier <laughs> both you and your horse so this is why I made this exercise uh, these exercises in this course excuse me so that you know everyone has this opportunity who is interested in uh, nature horsemanship and um, who wants to um, to communicate better with with his horse or her horse okay so as I said this course is made up of uh, 10 exercises uh, these exercises good is good if um, if you do them in in this order as I will um, I will uh, I will list them now in a minute uh, you can you can do them in any order but if you do them in this order um, this particular order that I put uh, the videos up for every, every exercise then uh, it's easier it's easier for your horse to learn and for you as well okay so let's see the first exercise is getting your horse's attention at liberty okay then the second one is passing through the horse in a straight line the third exercise is called leading the fourth one fourth exercise is backing up then exercise number five is called desensitizing exercise number six is about yielding hindquarters exercise number seven is um, yielding the forequarters then exercise number eight is lunging exercise number nine is flexing and finally exercise number 10 is uh, called the sanding exercise okay so these are the 10 exercises and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk um, a little bit about every exercise um, shortly but anyway you will see them of course uh, more detailed in my um, in my videos in my practical videos with the horse and of course I will explain uh, every exercise how to do them and so on and so forth okay so the very first exercise is getting the horse's attention at liberty okay this is the only exercise you do at liberty as this title says which means you don't uh, use anything any tech on your horse not a rope halter not a lead rope not anything okay all you need for this exercise is um, well preferably is a round pen and uh, ideally is a 15 meter um, round pen in the di diameter okay but if you don't have this then uh, a smaller paddock is also good okay so you can use um, 
essential the essential thing is that you use a smaller area not a not a big uh, not a big space okay because you have to be able to control your horse's feet and its speed as well so this is the only exercise this first one that you do at liberty um, so all the other ones all the other nine uh, you will do with a rope halter and a lead rope okay so what you're gonna do in this first exercise is uh, you are gonna have the horse loose in this space in this round pen or paddock and you are gonna use this space to send your horse to the left and to the right and um, to use to use the technique which I will describe so that um, your horse pays more and more attention to you okay as the exercise goes on and finally you will get a horse that it's um, it's facing you up uh, everywhere you go in the round pen he will face you up he will follow you with his two eyes yeah so this is the goal of this exercise and I will show you how to do it in the first video okay so let's see what is exercise number two about so exercise number two is called passing through the horse in a straight line so this is um, this is already on a lead on a lead and with a halter on the horse's head and um, the goal of this exercise is that your horse so you pick first you pick a straight line uh, so that your horse gets in the way yeah so your horse gets in the way of that straight line you pick yeah and then you start um, wiggle wiggling your stick in front of you um, up and down going and start walking in a straight line towards the horse and the horse has to move away okay and this exercise is important because teaches the horse to yield, to yield its pace to you. And this is what, uh, what they are doing, horses are doing between uh, themselves. Uh, if you watch them outside, if you watch a herd of horses, you will see that um, every time a um, horse that is higher in the herd rank is going, um, is going on the field, and another horse gets in his way the other horse gets away okay so the other horse always uses the, the the place for the higher ranked horse so this is the game we are playing with our horse in this exercise as well so that our horse will see us as a lead horse and we respect us okay um, and of course he will understand this because uh, because we speak his language <laughs> every every exercise it's about communication about communication based on how horses communicate between each other okay this is why these exercises are so efficient and powerful okay okay so exercise number three is leading this is uh, another very important exercise because um, I know, I mean, it seems uh, such a neutral um, word, leading. And, and most of us think, oh, I can lead a horse, I know how to lead a horse. But you know, sometimes we think we know, but we actually don't know how to do it. I know it's a simple thing, but um, most of the time we don't do it properly, we don't do it correctly. So I will show you how to do the leading in a correct manner yeah because this is very important as well okay let's see exercise number four backing up why it is important to back up your horse okay because again backing up your horse it means you are moving your horse's feet in the direction you want to move your horse's feet and not vice versa okay so always the higher ranked horse moves the other horse's feet and that, that is what we are doing in this exercise as well. And uh, 
again for gaining respect yeah okay let's go on exercise number five desensitizing so exercise number five is desensitizing about desensitizing a horse um firstly we desensitize the horse to the lead rope then to the stick and string uh, then to plastic bag and we can desensitize it to as many things as possible but these are the fir the fir the three basic things we have to desensitize our horses to our tools we use okay and all the other exercises are sensitizing our horses but that's why we have to do sometimes desensitizing as well so and it's good to do desensitizing in between every sensitizing exercise but I will explain more in the video okay uh, let's go on Let's see, exercise number six, yielding hindquarters. So, yielding hindquarters means we are going to teach our horse to move away its hindquarters from us. Of course, when we ask, when we ask our horse to do this. And we do this, of course, from the left and from the right as well. Okay, then yielding fourth quarters is exercise number seven. So, then... What we are going to teach our horse is to yield its four quarters, its shoulder and its neck and head away from us. And we do this, of course, from left and from right as well. As every exercise, always we do all of the exercises. We do it, what we do in one side of the horse, we do on the other side as well. Very important. Okay, then exercise number eight is about lunging. Um, and you know lunging sometimes has a little bit of negative connotation to it because usually when i see people lunging their horses they are sending the horse in endless circles to the left mostly to the left <laughs> sometimes to the right as well and and they are doing it for only for the purpose of, of tiring the horse, tiring the horse out, you know, so that the horse gets some physical exercise and so that um, we can safely mount on the horse's back. I mean, we think it's safe. We think if we tire the horse, it's safe to get on its back. But <laughs> actually, it's not, it's not exactly that way. It's not, it's not enough, you know, because you have to engage the horse's mind as well and and how i teach lunging and how uh, big names in uh, nature horsemanship teach lunging it's you know it doesn't involve only physical exercise but thinking as well thinking from the horse's part which is very important because then the horse uh, learns to be responsive uh, responsible for for its part in the game okay in the exercises in this case in lunging okay this is about lunging um, exercise number nine flexing flexing the horse's head and neck to the left and to the right as well and I will show you exactly how to do it in the exercise in the video video number nine and this is another very basic exercise I mean all of these exercises are very basic but Flexing, uh, you, you can never do enough of flexing. So you do flexing, whenever you do whatever exercise, it's good to stop sometimes and uh, do flexing in between the exercises, the other exercises, yeah? Uh, so flexing and desensitizing, these are two exercises that is good to do in between all the other exercises, okay? And then, exercise number 10 is sending the horse. So... This standing is kind of a half circle lunging, okay? So you send the horse from to the left and to the right, but only in a semicircle. And I will show you exactly how to do this in the video, okay? In the tenth video. Okay, this is all. In a nutshell, I will explain everything in the video, uh, in the videos. I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you get the most out of them. And I hope you enjoy your, your journey with your horse. So, this is it, and see you soon.